Hello, Gemini. Okay, so. Uh, already. Just the word prince came into, not the artist or anything, but the word prince. I'm like, okay. And then uh, I, because my it's early, so my eyes were watering. I closed my eyes and rolled my eyes around in my head, and they were kind of sore, like, like bugging out. <laughs> I'm like, hmm. I'm trying to put these two things together. I'm like, is there, maybe there's a Gemini who just, like, did their lineage or something and found out they're a prince or who knows. Um, their eyes are bugging out a little bit or something. <laughs> it could be a, poss a possibility. So, yeah, I'm like, what? <laughs> I just heard some Gemini's like, I'm a prince. I'm a prince. Like, so, whatever that means, okay? It could be literally like you did line family lineage, or, okay? Or you're doing past life stuff and you're um, getting some downloads, so... <laughs> So we have some clear crystal quartz. There's beautiful light coming in right now, isn't there? Wow, look at that. So this is for clarity, okay? And we have a piece of shungite for protect for protection. <laughs> yeah, that word, if I can get it out. Too many syllables this morning. Okay. Gemini. Let me see, what are we... I'm going to... I think it, I'm just going to go like that, oops, sorry for the bumpies, this could stay right here, okay, because I think the fan kicks on and it wants to even though I closed all the tabs and everything. Oh, my poor little computer. <laughs> well, because it's, it's just kind of sticky, I can tell in the... Eh, it's alright, okay. Uh, see? Sticky already, okay. Maybe you found out you weren't such a good prince or something. <laughs> when they got, you know. <laughs> I don't perhaps beheaded in a, ha a past life. I don't. I don't know. You know. We've been drawn and quartered over here. Burned up the stake. Um, what else? Drowned in the river. <laughs> okay. So, it's already starting off with Ten of Cups at the bottom, Gemini. That's what I'm saying. Like, you just got some awesome news that you're just like, oh, a Two of Wands. Uh-oh. Okay. Right off the bat. Who's the Twin Flame Gemini who's watching? Mm-hmm. Who are you? Okay. You don't have to answer me. I'm just saying, do you know who you are? <laughs> Maybe you don't know who you are. Maybe you're a Gemini Twin Flame and you're watching and you don't even know. Um... Definitely some Geminis who are on the path, on the journey, who are watching, because right off the bat, two of wands on the top, so. Maybe there's some Geminis who are eager to, who are twin flames, who are like, I want to see what the, I mean, not eager to, you know, see my readings. You, you know what I'm saying. Okay. Okay. Higher fan. That's what I'm saying, because twin flames, they are, they are the new establishment, but that's like, okay, union, solid, commitment together as one, mm, okay, solid as a rock, <laughs> seven of cups, eight of cups, yeah, you're, you want to move away from anything that's not clear, you want solid confirmation, clarity, um, this is also the protection of God, okay, the higher fan, because you're, you're serving God, okay, so, <clears throat> No. Excuse me, my, my nose is running a little bit. It's early. <laughs> so, I have my, uh, take a sip of coffee here. My throat's a little dry.
which gave me a little moment to look at, um, well, little, I, I don't know, it's all relative, right? This is a black dragon, okay, so that Seven of Cups, I'm kind of getting, like, with the Hierophant, and this is Taurus, you could, there could be a Taurus relation here, but, um, that black dragon of the Seven of Cups, that's like going down deep into the endless abyss of the self. Oh, the endless possibilities of that, right? Um, so, Gemini, you're very, you're footloose and fancy free, kind of, you're doing a little bit more, but you're, you can do duality, the twins, black, the white, the, the up, the down, the inner, the outer, you can go wherever you, and, and you do, <laughs> and you do, Gemini, and you do, <laughs> but this is more exploring some uncharted territory, see, the black dragon is like the divine womb, the, the darkness, it, the shadow doesn't necessarily mean scary, it's just the unseen, it's the unknown, so we can be, react in that way, it, in and of itself, it isn't inherently scary, okay, it's our perspective because to us it's unknown, but it is, everything is buried in our subconscious. So this one, some Geminis, there's some twin flames, there's some like sh deep work going down deep into the self and exploring that abyss that's happening with some of you, okay? And <clears throat> really getting integration with this too because of this at the top is kind of the same um, symbol represented you know slightly artistically different um, same symbol as right here the star David okay Melchizedek order maybe maybe some Gemini's that realize they're related to Jesus or so okay um. <laughs> Yeah, I'm definitely getting, like, self-exploration, um, and then Eight of Cups, and that's what's gonna help you move forward, okay? And be, be more of this, this is, like, some serious, not that Gemini can't be serious, but they can just, they're dual, they're G Gemini, the twins, they can go, they can play with duality, they're not necessarily maybe a master of duality, but they're, um very intrigued with duality and, and playing with it and see, to see what results. Okay, so. And also got some of you that, like, don't be scared, don't run away, the Eight of Cups with the Seven of Cups, just because it's unknown, there's no reason to be afraid, there's nothing to fear, it's all you, it's all your memory banks, your Akash, all buried deep in your subconscious. Um... past lives, people you were in, it, it's really intriguing stuff when you start, um, and you'll get repeating dreams of the scenery, and it'll be, and then you'll look up some stuff that somebody else talked about Neptune, and you're like, no way, okay, I used to live on Neptune, okay, I know that sounds crazy, but this has been a long process, so it's not like I woke up one day and I lived on Neptune, okay, sorry, see what I'm saying, but Gemini, see, I can get a little bit freaky with it, because... Y'all are starry eyes, you know. Um, Hello Kitty, the twin stars. That used to be my favorite one. I didn't know why when I was a kid, but... I did when I realized who I was. Um, they were looking to the mirror and looking to your own eyes and miss somebody, even though you're looking at your own face. I used to do that as a child. Freaky, weird kid, right? <laughs> Boom. I'm telling you. Okay. Now, this is like serious commitment commitment with another person, too. And I'm saying serious because it's the king. So, he's very... There's that logic, left brain aspect, okay? And then there's the two of cups, the union. Uh, look at you. Fire and water, Gemini, two of cups... You have the King of Cups, which is fire and water together. Or ether and water. Either way, masculine and feminine. Okay, I was just talking about the, the Star David popped out that time. Is that right there? Yeah. 
see that? Okay. So I see alchemy because uh, is it like a little mushroom or something? So there's like alchemy, shamanism, um, prophetic dreams coming in. There's these little zaps of lightning around these pillars that look like the darkness with little stars. Okay. So you're cloaked. You're, I mean, not cloaked. You're, um, uh, what's the word? Coveted. Okay. Mother is, see, protecting you. So these columns, okay, if you look closely, closely there, it looks like the night sky. Okay. Now there's these little zaps of electricity. This is the masculine. Okay. And this is the feminine. Okay. That's what this represents here too. So this very much is, this higher fan it has very much this, a temperance, okay, twin flame as the master teachers, and interesting, I, um, <clears throat> I just pulled the, the cards that I was doing for the daily twin flames that I'm, I'm just moving on because I, I gotta focus on business and different things, but, um, every once in a while I might do a special twin flame reading or something, but that's not gonna be my focus. Just because I'm just trying to move away from labels. You know, it, that's all it is, really. Um, it's not moving away from the path. Um, but, okay, so here's your two of cups, right? But see how there's only one dragon? Okay, this is you unifying yourself, okay? Okay, the water's being divided right here. Okay, this ace of cups, I mean, it, it, I'm just saying, okay? If you just look at one, this one cup right here. Now, you want to unify these parts of yourself. You have, maybe you have some emotions split. Okay, so Gemini, that, that makes sense, okay? But there's some unifying and merging and integration that you're being called to, um, you're being called to service to self a little bit as far as just getting to know you. Because you, you, you love to get to know stuff. your things. You're, that's why some people can think Gemini is kind of... And they're air signs, so they can be like the wind. Ch -ch just So you have to understand people's nature and not be judgmental. But, okay, so those two came out together. King of Cups, Two of Cups, right after the, uh, right after the Hierophant. So... You can still have your Gemini nature and kind of dart around, okay? See this zap, zap, zap. You can go from star to star. Zap, 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 zap. As long as this is really focusing on higher learning, though, okay? So you can kind of be scattertastic a little bit and do the Gemini fly by the seat of your pants because you like to have fun and things are whimsical, and I love that about Gemini. They're like the little, they're like the, um, I, should, I shouldn't say little, but they, they usually are more like the elven fairy Okay, the Gemini, usually I find to be, have more of that energy. Like wizards and, okay, just fun, fun stuff. Dragons and, okay, this is like perfect deck for Gemini, dragons, all right? So, so you can still have that pure Gemini essence of being, uh, you know, study one thing for 20 minutes and then go to something else and then go play something for, and then go do some gardening and then cut. You like to... Keep your in okay. You like to stay interested, and you're interested in a lot of things because you're an air sign. So this is why, if people don't understand the nature and people's zodiac energies and everything, okay. So this is major arcana. You're not being asked to not be you, Gemini. You're just being asked to like be the little bit higher version of you and tap into some of that stuff and play with that a little bit. See how fun you find it. Because right off the bat, Hera fan, for Gemini, it's like, really? I gotta be serious? But it's not that it's that. It's fun. This is interesting. I mean, like, whoa, I found out I was a prince or, okay, past life stuff. Okay, this is fun. But it's deep. Okay, so there could there can be some emotional stuff. There can be other people involved in your past life stuff, which is what I'm finding with myself, okay? <clears throat> so, um... And it's playing out now currently today. So it there can be some 
You can move through it swiftly with your air energy, though. Okay, I was saying that with, with Aries, because they're fiery. They can they can move through this watery stuff. But you're gonna, I think, like with them as well, with Aries as well. It's like you're gonna you're gonna see that it's fun, and you're gonna want to hang out there a little bit. And this also means like some commitment here. King of Cups, Two of Cups, Hierophant. Like someone will come in and offer you some love, so, like with some commitment, like maybe even a ring, marriage, like that. Okay, and the King of Cups is just someone who is very passionate, very sure, has the right brain, okay, the water, so very passionate, loving, but then left brain, very logical, very sure in that you are that one, okay, you're the other cup here, and, and they're this too, but for some of you, it's, you're the king of cups, you need to unify with self, go deeper in self, but, but have fun, and Find out, like, some magical stuff about yourself and your bloodline and, you know. So, four swords at the bottom page of coins at the top. Yeah, just let, let your mind be at ease. Rest your mind. Um, you, you're going you're gonna to come out of the very refreshed and grounded new perspective and... Um, tangible uh, ideas. You need to get, get some business ideas when you start going into your own personal... Because that page of pentacles, it's like, well, you, sh you can get some entrepreneurial ideas by exploring yourself. Your past life, your emotions, your dreams. You're just not even thinking about business, but through doing this spiritual exploration of you, <clears throat> it can just lead to that because that's just how things flow. So that for some of you, that can be true. That could apply. I feel like just the Akash has really opened up everyone. Like They're really accessing past life stuff, ideas to create and invent and... Um, explore places they want to go and connect with nature. Okay, what's that? Here's the four swords again. Okay, I'm telling you. This out a couple other. I don't know if it was in the same. Re yeah, a couple different ones. And the card came, and then it came back out. I think it was the knave of swords and four coins. <clears throat> Can't remember which ones, but, but that here's the four swords for you. So that's what I'm saying. Just. You're just easy breezy with your minds at ease. This is like, this is this is just flowing so nicely. You're just like, yeah, 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 yeah. I just keep hearing Gemini going, yeah, 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 uh-huh, yeah, 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 yeah. That resonates, that resonates, that res. Not, not talking about my the reading, I'm just saying, as you're exploring yourself, you're going like, yeah. I always felt a resonation with something or whatever. Okay, it makes sense I had a past life in Japan. I, I, okay, so. I always wanted to be a cheesemaker. Ah, oh, I used to be a, you know, <laughs> a Dutch farmer. Okay, so. Eight of Wands. Chariot. So that's not, okay, so Eight of Wands. Fast, swift movement. It could be a message, a surprise. Okay. Um, that really charges your in, gets you charged up, chariot, moving forward, blasting forward. But this is just also emphasizing, okay, how fast and slick you are moving around, because you're that air, okay, especially if you do the rested mind four swords energy. And that's, that's, that, that's you all day, Gemini. Easy breezy, okay? Don't let it go sleazy, no <laughs> So, <clears throat> make sure to bring a sweater, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, Gemini. So, as long as you keep <clears throat> this state of mind with the four swords, arrested mind, this is gonna, this won't be heavy. Okay, so you can keep that childlike perspective, no problem. And this is what I'm saying with you. You're, you're going to be allowed to do this all fast and however you want it. Okay. Eight of Wands. Chariot. 
So you're not asked, you're not being asked to not be you and go ch -ch 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 -ch, Gemini, chop it up, okay? Right, two swords and eat, like those, when you chop with two knives, right? But you got two knives in each hand, so you got, you're chop, 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 chopping, okay? Um, so you're going, you're just chopping through this air, all this, like, all this um, information coming in, okay? So it's going to be deep and emotional, but maintain that higher perspective of the higher fan, stay balanced, and the way you're going to do that is just keep your mind at rest, okay, keep, keep flowing steady with the air, okay, so, um, so the swiftness of the air, okay, that's fine, they're allowing you to have the momentum, but they want you to keep steady with it, okay, it, uh, on par, or on, on course, okay, you know, like how the water is channeled down, okay, in the fire, you don't go too left or too right, Gemini, okay, you you can explore both through the center, balanced, strong, strong-willed, because Hierophant to represents Taurus, so that's a very strong will, um, so your will to have a rested mind, okay, is very important, because that four swords came back out, so that's very important. Be more of a witness as you explore these things. As you discover things about yourself, you explore past life, however it's happening for you. Twin flame. Um, as you explore these things, try to be more of a witness so you don't get emotionally caught up even when... The emotions come through. Be a witness to the emotions, okay? So that's what I'm saying with the knight of coin. Or is it the king? Knight, okay. So as you move forward, okay? Steady. Okay? The knight of coins is very steady, very grounded. Okay, so keeping your mind at ease, keeping your thoughts even keel is going to allow you to move swiftly. Okay, but very steady, very grounded, very steadily paced. It's your, it can be your fast pace, like I said, even though it's the Knight of Coins. I was still getting, you can do the fast pace thing, but you have to be on course. It has to be steady. You have to be really grounding it, witnessing this. Because you don't want to flitter away, Gemini, you want, you want to stick with this, because this is pretty amazing stuff, and I, I think it's going to lead to, because we already have the two of wands <clears throat> at the top, with the ten of cups, and then immediately the hierophant comes, well, not immediately, but okay, the hierophant, okay, with, and then next two cards, king of cups with two of cups together, okay, and that four of swords came back out, so there's like some magic happening in this reading, okay, so there's definitely some Geminis that, um, Need to know that four of swords. Rest your mind. Know that mother is there protecting you, loving you, okay? The divine womb, divine cosmic mother, the cosmic womb. And then we have all the information. Those electrical zaps, that's father with the information to apply the wisdom, the knowledge down here, okay? But it comes from her. He accesses it, okay? She's the data bank. He's the transference, but she guides it. I don't want to go too deep into the teachings and stuff in the zodiac readings, but um, I'm just I, I just feel like there's some Gemini's twin flames that are getting it. So um, sometimes when mess messages come through, it's not that it's for the most amount of people who are watching. The majority, like it, it could be just for one person, but this is the most important message that needs to come through. You understand what I'm saying? So. Um, Okay, eight of Wands on the bottom with the Sun card on top. Yeah, illumination. Big time illumination. <clears throat> the Sun card is also Ascension. The Sun is a portal for our Ascension. Let's 
pull another card here. What do we got? 20? Oh, yeah, we're good. Okay. Let's explore a little bit more here, Gemini. Let's explore more, boys and girls. Lads and lassies. Lads and gents. Or that's both. Wait. Um. <laughs> Ladies and gents. <laughs> okay. Okay, four of wands. So also, this is right after the Nine of Coins and the Four of Swords. So very steady, very balanced. We got the Two of Cups. Okay, Hierophant. This is, this is home. Uh, so some Gemini Twin Flame. Okay, your, your Twin Flame's coming home. Okay. So if this Knight of Coins isn't you, this is someone coming in. Because this is... And this is you coming home to yourself, too. Because that has to happen, okay, for Twin Flame Union. and Okay, so I don't necessarily like... Uh, union is like the one you're supposed to be within the physical. It may not necessarily be... Okay, things can be all different depending on who you are and your journey and past life stuff and all that. So that's what I'm saying. Now... Again, so here we have the obelisk, okay? So that's masculine, but see how it's like black with stars all out? Divine Mother. Okay, so masculine and feminine being one. Okay, so there's that pillar in the center of all those four wands, those four flames. There's one pillar in the center that unites masculine and feminine. Okay. So with that Hierophant, this is a very secure, very, oh, whoever this Gemini is, I hope it resonates with more than one, but if this is just for one specific person, um, these are good cards. So now we have the Queen of Coins on the bottom, Page of Coins on the top. Yeah, so because you have the Knight of Coins, so it's just like you're, you're exploring yourself but more grounded down here down here in the earth down here like past lives where your feet have actually touched land okay this is what we're exploring Gemini so I have to keep your mind at ease this isn't a um where you get to be stuck in your head now this is kind of like putting your thoughts to bed a little bit letting them sleep and rest and you're doing some magical exploration okay um exp <laughs> um yeah, so, Queen of Coins, Page of Coins. So this is just like masculine, feminine, all these aspects of yourself and different aspects, facets, uh, facets, dynamics, because it's night, it's queen, it's page, okay? But it's all earth. That's what I'm saying. Very balanced. Four of Wands, Four of Swords, Ve Four. That is the number of the earth, okay? So... <clears throat> the magician the Ten of Cups wanted to stick a little bit. Okay, what do we got here? I think we'll be good. Ace of Swords on the top. So you're going to come out with some nuggets. Okay, some like, wow. Stunners. This information. Zap, zap from God. Like I was saying all along, again, okay, that Ace of Swords, that's very much. And Three of Cups, that's the Trinity. Okay, so this... The angels, God, you're going to get your guidance, you're going to get um, emotional support, you're going to get clarity, you're going to, all the things that you need to do this work. Okay, there's a few cards here, so let's see. Oh, th these are great. Look at all this energy. So right after the four of wands, okay, so it's like four of swords, nine of coins, four of wands, be grounded, be anchored in the earth. Okay. And then we have 
Nine of Wands, the Emperor, Ace of Wands, King of Wands. Pshoo! Okay? It's like firing off. Right, because Three Cups, Ace of Swords. That's like, that, okay, the Trinity. That's, um, and the Ace of Swords is that singularity, that masculine, the electricity bringing forth, like, wow. And then the assistance of the angels, the Holy Spirit, the Trinity. Shit, yo, Gemini. Knight of Wands. This is how they came out in order to Knight of Wands, Emperor, okay, Aries. And I was al already saying something about Aries having to do kind of similar work here. So fire, f and then Knight of Wands is fire, fire, okay? This is all fire. Ace of Wands, beautiful new beginning. Look at all that. You, you can, you're the master of your destiny. You co-wrote the story. You just have to remember it. <laughs> So, going back to the beginning. Let's start at the very beginning. A very fine place to start. And then King of Wands. So, then you come out, whoa. You go in there thinking, yeah, I, I know a lot about myself. Knight of Wands. <laughs> Emperor, oh really? You could have been a prince, Emperor. Or a prince, you know, whatever. You could be a female and you were a prince in a past life. A male, I don't know how it all works. Okay, Ace of Wands, and then it's like, boom, that, it's like, that nugget, that Ace of Wands next to the Emperor, it's like, you really, you find out, like, some shit about yourself, is what I'm saying, okay? You're like, boom, King. Boom King. <laughs> Let's look at the picture here a little bit. Yeah, see how, okay. Um, it looks like the Taj Mahal and stuff. Like, you could have been some royal king, prince, queen, goddess, Indian princess, okay? Prince is what came in when I, okay. But your eyes were, bu were bugging out, Gemini. And this, again, this Ace of Wands, very much alchemical, getting it started. Okay, that's very much Aries energy, and the Emperor is here too. So maybe there's a Gemini-Aries connection for some of you. There's also a water sign here, so um, unless this is the work that you need to do, this also could be the person coming in, okay, as a water sign. So... Which is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And then there's all this fiery... Whew. You could literally be just like a twin flame that like has all these options because you're like, uh, oh, okay, this was a soulmate from a past life. This is my twin flame. This is my sacral chakra healing partner. This is the one the angels tell me to be with. <laughs> oh, Gemini, you got a lot of fun work to do. <laughs> All right, let's just see what I cut open to. What is that? Dude, the Knight of Cups. I'm saying, who are all these damn people? Gemini, I'm saying, you're like, all these different people you were in past lives, the people that are in your life right now, realizing your ancient connection to them. So, so okay, mm hmm that's what I'm saying. And literally, like, love is coming in for you. <laughs> yeah. But it also could be someone's got to go because three cups on the bottom, ace of swords on the top, and I open up to the knight of cups, so that knight is, like, on its way out because there's no third party. Gemini is like, nah. I'm pretty concise with, like, I'm Gemini. I'm twin. I'm, Yeah. <laughs> There's that one for me, and I'm going to find it. So you are on a mission, okay? It's not mission impossible. It's just mission of self-exploration, so it seems uh, totally illogical and irrational, let alone impossible, right? Like, how do we even go here? We don't even know what to call these things. We've never even been here before. We don't have a road map. We... Oh, we're going to get lost. We don't have a GPS system. No, it's it's inside you. It's in your subconscious. 
It's in your heart, okay? That's where we're at home, in our heart. That's where every home we've ever known is. <laughs> All right, Gemini. Have a blessed March 2018. I'll see you next time. Peace to all of you. I love you all. And uh, wow. Yeah, that's all I got to say, Gemini. Wowie. Wee wah wo wah. Okay? <laughs> all right. Love, peace, blessings.